Okay, awesome sauce. Woohoo! What we're gonna do is some lower body. Now, we're gonna be kneeling. So, I keep thinking I should twist it just a little bit. Another bit of them, my OCD. You probably didn't know I was OCD, but I even have to have my band. Just so I start looking and say, oh, they're on. Okay, we're gonna start by kneeling. Okay, and we're gonna bring up our back leg, which would be your left leg. And we're just gonna have it up on the rebounder. I can't hit anything on my leggings <laughs> either. I'm pretty bad about that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start bending over and I'm gonna come down, only go down as far as you really feel it good, but don't ever try to overstretch it. This is gonna help your flexibility and it's gonna build up your movement. So, I have my foot flexed. I'm gonna come down slow. I'm gonna come down, 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 down. Uh, Touch my forehead to the mat. You don't have to go down that far. Okay. And then I'm going to hold on to the rim. I have to fix my rim here. And I'm going to dig. This is where it might hurt your, whichever foot has the shorter tendon on, but I have my toes into the floor. Okay. And I'm going to come up. And lean into that like that. So I'm gonna keep my toe like that. If you can't, that's fine. So that was one. I'm gonna come down. And then come up. Up. Into it. really going to get the back of your legs. You have some nice hamstrings too. I'm going to bring it up. The funny thing is, I never do the same thing. I always add a little bit of something different to it each time I do it. So. That's six. I like to touch my nose. Toes in. And then the floor. This is 
my hip replacement side, so I'm doing really well. my heel 
into the mat. I'm pushing down as I'm coming up as hard as I can. I should have said that before, but you'll know on the other side when you do it again. I'm not supposed to do splits, but I do splits, so eh, I don't feel like it's hurting me. But I can't do back bends. I mean back flips. Back flips are out. Okay, now I'm going to plant my, this is where it gets tricky too, I have a dislocated toe on this foot. So that can be why it cramps up on me. Okay, I had my toes into the carpet. And I'm going to start coming up. Then I'm going to come down. I can't go as far. I can touch my forehead. But it seems like it's a little bit more of a struggle, but we'll see. I think this is good for my hip implants. challenge of my life. Besides having 10 babies. Yeah. I better quit talking or I'm going to forget how many we're doing. Come up a little slower.
This is really going to make you flexible. I'm still on the, on the balls of my feet.
really need to work that side.
helping with your flexibility. It's going to build strength in your lower body. And it's going to build up a nice little glute area. A little fight against gravity. Now we all want that. Uh, maybe some people don't, but I do. Well, with that in mind, we're going to get a little stretch back. Because we worked our upper body. I worked a lot in my upper body today. Play bend over. Stretch that out. Come down, down, down. Oh, I think this kiss my feet. Isn't that be lovely? Who wants to kiss their feet? I don't. Hey, have a good day.